Hello everybody, my name is Pixel and welcome to the Sapphire Tech YouTube channel. As most of you will already know, last weekend we finally got access to the Modern Warfare beta here on the PC and I've already covered the game running on the Sapphire Pulse RX 570 at 1080p as well as the Sapphire Nitro Plus RX 5700 XT at 1440p. I'll leave a link to both of these videos down in the description below. While these videos did do pretty well, we did still receive numerous requests to also cover the Modern Warfare beta on the Sapphire Pulse RX 5700, so that's exactly what I've got for you today. Now unfortunately, by the time I got around to getting the card installed and getting ready to record, the beta was already coming to an end so I was unable to get the full range of testing that I would normally do for one of these videos. As a result, the only gameplay that I managed to capture was done so while running on the game's optimised settings that should be up on screen now. On the plus side, I did at least manage to test out the game running at both 1440p and at 1080p, just please do bear in mind that the 1080p testing was done via the resolution scaler in game, so elements such as the user interface and maybe some of the post processing will still appear to be native at 1440p. For that reason, I will leave a label showing the current gameplay resolution next to the performance overlay to ensure that there's no confusion. I also want to point out that all the gameplay that you're going to be seeing in this video has had the depth of field disabled via a config tweak that was found by the community early on in the beta. I did this because the depth of field in this game can be incredibly noisy and grainy when not maxing out the anti-aliasing. The problem is that when you do max out the anti-aliasing in this game, it starts to look incredibly soft and blurry. Normally, this is not the kind of thing that I would like to tweak in a performance video, but I really had a hard time playing with the AA totally maxed out because for some reason I was literally getting headaches. I'm assuming that this is due to the image being blurry so that my eyes were having trouble focusing, causing eye strain which in turn caused headaches. I could be completely wrong and it could just be a coincidence that once I applied the tweak that the headaches stopped coming, but yeah, that's at least my reasoning. When it comes to performance, at 1440p we were looking at mostly around 100fps while in the normal game modes and around 80 plus while playing on ground war. This leaves me incredibly confident that we are looking at at least a 60fps minimum on both modes while running the maximum settings, as from the testing that we did on the other graphics cards, it was pretty apparent that there was not really a huge amount of performance scaling when switching between graphical options, at least there wasn't in the beta, so this should be good news for anybody that's targeting 60fps. When we jump over to the 1080p gameplay, we see the frame rates jump by around 40% on average, which means that we're looking at around 150-ish on the normal game modes and just above 100 on the ground war mode. The Sapphire Pulse RX5700 is a great value 1440p graphics card, but I have to admit, I still think it's the high refresh rate 1080p area where the card really shines, and this game is no exception. When it comes to multiplayer games, especially shooters, I will always prioritise frame rate over resolution because it straight up gives you a big advantage. With all that said, I'm going to actually call the video here though I will be leaving on a few more minutes of gameplay at the end, so thank you so much for watching. If you are new around here then please do consider slapping that subscribe button and dinging that bell so you get notified of our future uploads. If you like this video then you can also like this video and if you disliked it, there's a button for that too and all we ask is that you let us know why you disliked it in the comment section below so we can try and improve it in future. Also, if you've got any questions, suggestions or feedback then you can please leave them in the comment section below as well, that would be very much appreciated. And I will get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, from myself and everyone here at the Sapphire Tech YouTube channel, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, we will catch you later. Bye bye.
Assist your team at Alpha. Team, damn it! We're on Charlie. Ah! We have a personal radar drone. Enemy UAV overhead. Ah! UAV is ready for flyover. We're halfway there. Keep going. All points are ours. Give them copy. Falcon one to personal radar coverage. Personal radar destroyed. Lost coverage. Ah! Keep it that way. 